Hello friends, once again welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Amit and today I'm super excited to walk you through with OBI 12C new feature called Data Visualizer. In fact, this is a long awaited tool. Uh, OBI user community needed it. So as you know that OBI has been facing a stiff competition in the market from data visualizer tools like Tableau and ClickView. So we try to bring all the capabilities and features which your new data visualization tools are offering to the customer. So in today's presentation, I'm going to walk you through with very high level overview about what OBA 12C Data Visualizer offer you. Watch our series of videos to know more about Data Visualizer. So today I just walk you through with the interface, look and feel of Data Visualization. We'll talk about new look and feel interface. We'll talk about data mashup and visual analyzer in detail. So let's start with, I log into my, I just first I log into the screen, to my new interface, you find it over there. The, the login interface is completely different look and feel. Though you've observed a little slow in logging and especially loading your page. Though I allocated pretty nice, uh, pretty much resources to my system. It got 12 GB RAM I allocated to my system, only to OBI in addition to this two processor well you find it over the left side the look and feel is completely different the first component you find over there called data exploration and discovery which you call data visualizer analysis interactive reporting which you used to call analysis or answer mobile application bi publisher actionable intelligence performance management there you find performance scorecard strategy management and so on and marketing component you find this over there data visualizer visualize visual analyze project click on this in fact it's a new it's a separate licensing component there you find you've got two options either you can build your data visualization directly on top of your RPD presentation layer or you can bring data from external world from data files Okay, I'll give you both example from both categories. Start with sample sales. I add to project. On the left side, you find that three tabs. This is your canvas. We're going to design your interface, design your data visualizer. You go data section. There you can select multiple data sources, data elements, and visualizer. Right. So because we already select data source, I can directly jump to data visualizer. So pretty straightforward. You simply drag and drop your Dimension member from there and draw over your visualizer. So I drag in product line of business, product brand. There you find an option, interesting option over there called when you place your dimension, you got four options. You can select them as a size, color, and value. See, I drag and drop major over there. There are four options. Default is value, color, size, and shapes. So you can treat your numeric numbers and major as value or color. So I'm going to add a value in the beginning. We got product line of business, product brand. And in addition to this, I'll also like to see with respect to different years. So I'm going to drag and drop year at the top. So this is my column and these are rows. Well, so I also like to highlight this number with color. So more the revenue, the better, the more the color. I drag and drop and put it over here as a color. So you see there's a default color combination, dark and light blue. The darker the color, the more the value. This is this is a nice way of draw your attention. In addition to this, because these are all numerics, I'm going to these are these are currencies. In fact, I'm going to change this from currency type from numeric. So we got option over there. We can change values right click and I can click on the property section properties change your intern find three option call general setting your edge labels and your values so values I'm going to change number format as currency and default currency USD okay aggregation type also you can change default is sum you can change your average maximum minimum and so on so you see it's pretty simple and therefore non-IT guys 
the business user can directly operate this without any external help from IT team. In addition to this, you have got multiple options over here. You can add a subtotal, grand total as well. I'm going to add a subtotal for product line of business. You can see a subtotal over here. You can also add a subtotal with respect to year as well. I'm going to add a year subtotal. It's a toggle on and off, right? Fairly simple. Once you design your template, your view, you can also look at the assignment, which help you to understand what what dimension and majors are placed where. So you see in my rows, I've got product line of business and brand. I can change the order over here as well. Product year and the intersection of product line of business, brand year is your revenue and your revenue as color as a value as well. This is a nice interface which ease your users to simply drag and drop and visualize the data and doesn't require any specific IT skill. So that's it for today. Continue to watch my next video for OBA 12C. I'm going to walk you through with a new data visualization interface of 12C by using charts and different kind of charts as well. So thanks for watching today's video. Do write to us should you have any question. Our site is bispsolutions.com. Thank you and have a great day ahead.